Sharks are flying in West Virginia's legislature after Democrats suggested a temporary pause on the gasoline tax. Thanks for joining us tonight for 7 News at 6. I'm Katherine Guyon. Governor Jim Justice accused the party of, quote, getting on a soapbox following their press conference in front of a gas station yesterday. 7 News reporter Colin Roos spoke to delegates of both parties to hear about the proposal that's fueling a controversy. And he joins us live in the newsroom now. Colin. Catherine, it's tough for all of us to see those gas prices start with a four, and state Democrats say one of the contributors to that cost is the gas tax. It currently sits at 35.7 cents a gallon. They believe pausing it temporarily could lower the sticker shock, but Governor Justice says the real contributor to high prices is in Washington, D.C. The gas pumps do not care about your political party. Republican or Democrat, it isn't getting any easier to press that handle. AAA put Northern West Virginia's average gas price at 4.10 per gallon this week, and that's before travel really gets going with the warmer weather. Delegate Sean Fluharty says even if just for a month, a pause on the gas tax would be an easy way to make sure our money is good to the last drop. Imagine going down National Road or anywhere in Wheeling right now and seeing gas prices fall by 35 cents per gallon. The tax goes toward the state's road fund for repairs. It would cost about $35 million over a month. But Democrats say a small cut out of the nearly billion dollar surplus would more than cover it. For his part, Governor Justice says he can't do it by himself and accuses the opposing party of trying to make him look like the bad guy. And if the legislature is called back into special session and they bring it to me and want to do it, I'm all in. This kind of grandstanding is not beneficial at all. He loves to have the political sideshow, but this isn't about it. He wants to take all the credit in the world for doing this. Have at it, Governor. Take all the credit. We're fine with that. Let's just get it done. But other state Republicans are on board with justice, with Speaker Roger Hanshaw calling the plan a short-term fantasy. Another Ohio County delegate also believes the idea should have had a forum during the legislative session that ended Saturday. So I would have rather seen it come up when we can debate it and discuss it. Delegate Erica Storch calls it an interesting angle on the problem, but points out that after winter, wheeling streets need the care that the road fund provides. She says many people don't realize just how much work the Division of Highways puts in. But you'll definitely recognize if you're not blowing out an axle or bending a rim. The legislature isn't scheduled to meet again until April 24th. But it remains to be seen if lawmakers or the governor will be able to make those numbers at the pump rise a little slower before then. Delegate Storch also told me the Mountain State is on a path to be a net importer of energy within 10 years. She says our untapped natural resources could help West Virginia and the nation power through. Live in the 7 Newsroom, I'm Colin Roos, working for you.